we moved camp yesterday and as you can see Zeb's over there checking things out if you see him about 10 o'clock over there he's just sitting in the sunshine getting his morning rays but I'll show you around camp in just a minute uh, just woke up and seen Zeb out there and I figured man I need to get him on tape okay as you can see I moved camp again um, we're out in the forest uh, close to the city is Silver City, I believe. I did the Walmart thing today where you go and you stand in line for an hour to get propane because I was out. But uh, it's mostly pine trees. It's really it's got a lot of trees in it, as you can tell. And it's it's all private. I mean, primitive, excuse me. No hookups whatsoever. Um, it is kind of chilly today because we're in the shade. I was hoping it would be a little bit warmer, but um, it's not. And, Believe it or not, we can't find a, a lick of firewood around here. I mean, and I couldn't find any place in town that sold it, so not sure how long I'm going to stay here. I might just do some checking it out and looking around and move on down the road again, but I'll show you our camp spot. Okay, there's mine right there. That's Janie. And as you can tell, it's really super wooded. Actually, it's pretty cool. It's just a little bit on the nippy side I mean come from Campton down here because we're getting frosted up there and same thing here so anyway look at that big old log right there that's pretty cool and over here we got a fire pit and Rick came along on the journey too but got the mountains in the background but supposed to be some dwellings around here cave dwellings so I wanted to go check them out but as you can see it's pretty pretty wooded pretty nice isn't it you got a poop house right there but just a whole lot of trees and a little bit of sunshine but that's our camp spot at least for now I had thought about getting solar before but the one thing with solar if you're in the shade you're not going to get any juice plus the extra batteries you have to carry the whole reason for having a scamp is so I can travel light so I have thought about getting solar because somebody made a remark but if you look over here at Rick's solar panels right now they're not getting any sun whatsoever so he's getting no power or if I need power all I do is fire up my generator I'm good to go and if I'm in a campground with other campers I just you know be respectful about it. they usually have times you can run a camper and if anybody says it's irritating them, I just cut the, cut the generator off and, you know, run off my battery. But I have thought about getting solar, but I'm, you know, I'll give you all the update on that. It's just an extra way. I'm really not concerned about the money, but I am concerned about the way to carrying the batteries. And if I'm really going to get enough power to run everything I run, you know, keep my cameras charged, my laptop, so on and so on, the refrigerator. But anyway something to think about but I don't know I have to take it day by day I always do well a little bit of update we decided to move camp tomorrow because down here in the forest where we're at uh, we don't have any power whatsoever in between running a generator and running the furnace and propane it adds up after a while we found a campground right down the street about five miles and they got electric and water for fifteen dollars a night and with the American uh, pass, we can do it for 750, and you're allowed to stay there up to two weeks. Uh, little man's always got to be the center of attention, so we figured we'd move on down there. At least we'd have electric. We wouldn't be running. I wouldn't have to run the generator. I wouldn't have to, you know, run the furnace at night with propane because I can just run the generator. All, I mean, run the heater all the time, and that way I won't have to run the generator. He's giving me a run for the money, so I, you know, I forget what I'm trying to say. But we're pretty far out. It's called the Halo National Forest, is where we are. Um, no TV reception, no internet, no telephone, no nothing. I mean, it's peaceful and everything. And I talked to Jamie this morning when I dumped that video, and um, it's snowing up in Capitan. He said he's got six inches of snow and steadily coming down. And he said also they had quite a few wrecks on 
Interstate 25 in Albuquerque where they had a bunch of track and trailers wrecked. So I was going to go back up there, but I decided, no, not if it, you know, all that's going on. So I figured I'd run down here to this campground and maybe hang out for two weeks and see if the weather clears up and see if it gets any better and take it, like, you know, one day at a time. That's all you can really do. I mean, um, I can't get Wi-Fi and telephone service. I go 15 miles back up the road there's a post office right before you come to the town so I go there and use a Wi-Fi on the telephone and it ain't too bad I hope to go up on the um, mountain up in the pass and get some good um, pictures because the rock formations are unreal out here I mean it's almost like something you'd see in arches in um, Utah I mean it's really pretty spectacular and some of the homes are set back in the rock formation it's really cool looking so that's the game plan. Move to camp tomorrow and at least we'll have electric, you know. Won't be watching football for the next week or two, but I mean, that comes with the living, you know, lifestyle. And one other thing, if you want to ever try anything to see what you're made of, try washing your hair when it's below 40 degrees. I figured out how to do it. I use my solar shower and I use my coffee pot and I do uh, 15 cups of hot water and then I fill it back up twice, 10 cups of cold water, and I do it right here on this bar, you know, fill the solar shower up, and then I hook it on the outside of the trailer and I wash my hair as quick as I can. And it, it works out good, because I have to wash my hair at least three or four times, you know, about every three or four days. But, you know, as far as the nomadic lifestyle, if you're wondering why I don't have a bathroom, the reason is, it's because like now you'd have you'd have to worry about your pipes freezing and pipes busting and I've never ran water through my campus so I don't have to worry about that and I just spun bathe and I take solar showers you know when it's above 50 I'll do that but that's why I, I didn't get a bathroom in my scamp because I was like I don't want to have to deal with you know busting pipes because Jamie's up there camped on and before we left his water lines busted and he had to deal with that and then the other night in Rick's camper, he had to drain all the water out because he was afraid it'd go freeze. Because at night out here, it gets down into teens, which is a little bit on the chilly side. But anyway, I just wanted to give y'all an update on what's going on. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy all my videos. I got a plenty of them out there. So if you would, go back and watch some of my old ones. And I mean, cause I've been all over the place. I've been running around the United States and Canada for like the last three years. So... If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Me and little man will see you in the next one. Got to get him on camera too, because this is my little baby right here. It's my little man. Yeah. Always give him kisses. kiss. But if you would, give us a thumbs up like that. And please subscribe. See you in the next video. Stay safe. Enjoy.